it's me priya hari prasad welcome back welcome to my channel welcome to the world of economics hope that you all are fine safe and happy today i'm going to explain oligopoly and king cut demand curve it is one of the most important market forms in non competitive market it is very important topic in microeconomics before that please try to subscribe my channel support my channel your support is my strength okay then let's begin the class oligopoly what is the meaning of the word oligopoly the word oligo means few and poly means sellers so together the meaning of the word oligopoly is few sellers few sellers what is the meaning of the word oligopoly few sellers okay then so oligopoly is a particular market situation in which few sellers selling either identical products or differentiated products oligopoly is a particular market situation in which few sellers selling either identical products or differentiated products the products under oligopoly will be identical or differentiated identical means what is like cement okay the same product the products will be same only okay in color or all okay cement okay then next one the differentiated products like motor bikes okay like suzuki uh, then bajaj tvs like that hero like that okay then differentiated products so under oligopoly uh, there will be two products will be the um, which are they identical or differentiated identical uh, for uh, for example for identical what is cement uh, then uh, differentiated products motor by got it okay then now we can learn what is the features of oligopoly okay so in short oligopoly is Uh, the competition among few competition among few sellers competition among few sellers that is oligopoly oh, got it the number of number of sellers will be what is below 10 number of sellers will be below 10 okay then now we can uh, learn the features of oligopoly first one few sellers we already know that under oligopoly few sellers will be there okay below 10 Okay then. Next one, identical products or differentiated products. We already know that the products will be identical, like cement, or differentiated, like motor bikes. Got it? Okay then. Then selling cost. We already know that what is selling cost, advertising cost, or sales promotion cost. Okay, that uh, that has an important role in uh, oligopoly. Okay, because of the competition among few sellers. Okay, there is competition among the few sellers. Uh, that's why. there will be selling goes okay the firms has to uh, do what is selling goes that is sales promotion goes okay then then freedom of entry and exit freedom of entry and exit the next one interdependence of firms the firms under oligopoly they are interdependent and interrelated interdependent and interrelated okay then okay the next one indeterminate demand curve the demand curve under oligopoly is indeterminate what is the reason behind that the firms uh, the firms under oligopoly don't have any idea about the rivals action and reaction okay the firms under oligopoly uh, don't have any idea about the actions and reactions about the rival firms that's why uh, demand curve under oligopoly will be what is indeterminate indeterminate got it okay then price leadership um, last and most important feature of oligopoly price leadership under oligopoly one uh, leader firm will be there that firm will decide the price and take decisions other firms will follow the leader firm okay that is price leadership under oligopoly one firm will be uh, uh, in the leader okay then that leader firm can fix and decide the price then other firms will follow uh, the leader firm okay that that is one of the most important feature of oligopoly got it Okay, once again, I'll explain the features of oligopoly. First one, few sellers. Second one, identical products or differentiated products. Third one, selling costs. Fourth one, freedom of entry and exit. Then interdependence of firms, indeterminate demand curve, price leadership, etc. Got it? Okay then. Now we can learn what is king cut demand curve. King cut demand curve. Under oligopoly, the demand curve will be king cut. what is the meaning of king cut segmented segmented king cut means segmented the demand curve has 
two segments under oligopoly okay then the concept of kinger demand curve was suggested by paul m sweezy okay um, the concept of kinger demand curve was suggested by or uh, it is related to paul m sweezy okay paul m sweezy okay under oligopoly the demand curve has what is two segments okay the word kinged means segmented king means segment king means segment kinged means segmented okay then kinged demand curve is used to explain price rigidity under oligopoly kinged demand curve is used to explain the price rigidity under oligopoly tendency uh, to uh, what is tendency of price to rigid okay rigidity okay that is that is only we are going to learn under what is kinger demand curve okay kinger demand curve is used to explain price rigidity under oligopoly got it okay then king denotes the equilibrium price level at which the price has a tendency to rigid king means what is uh, tendency that uh, the, denotes the equilibrium price level at which the price has a tendency to rigid price has a tendency tendency to rigid after equilibrium price okay uh, that tendency only we are learning uh, what is in uh, king demand curve got it okay then the king denotes the equilibrium price level at which the price has a tendency to rigid okay then now we can explain the diagram also in this diagram x axis represents output and y axis represents the level of price then dd is our demand curve and it has two segments dd is our demand curve and it has two segments okay here k is the kink point k is the kink point okay then after that point the price will be rigid after that point point the price will be rigid okay then which are the two segments of the demand curve dk first portion dk and kd dk and kd dk is the elastic portion of the demand curve dk is the elastic more elastic okay then kd kd second second segment is inelastic okay kd is what is inelastic what is the reason behind that after this king point price has a tendency to rigid okay price has a tendency to rigid okay price will not change after this king point that's why under oligopoly the demand curve has what is two segments okay so dd is our demand curve then k is the king point okay so demand curve has what is two segments first segment dk dk this is our first segment this is elastic and uh, kd kd is our inelastic portion after this king point price uh, what is price has a tendency to uh, what is being what is rigid that's why okay that is two portions inelastic and elastic this this is king demand curve under oligopoly got it okay then uh, repeat the video make it clear if any doubt or any suggestion what is let me know okay then thank you thanks a lot take care bye please try to follow my channel support my channel